Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome to another one of my Magic the Gathering videos. Today, I will be sharing my thoughts on the Magic 2013 corset, uh, corset as of 205 out of 249. Uh, so, let's start off with the um, whites. I'm just going to uh, give some brief thoughts on each one of the cards that I have an opinion about. Uh, most of them will be rares and mythics. So let's get on with it. Uh, first card is a Johnny Collar of the Pride, uh, the white planeswalker for this new set. Uh, now it's a uh, three drop, which is going to be very interesting. Uh, as we saw with the previous three drops, it's going to be very destructive. Um, starts out with four loyalty counters. And I believe that it's uh, plus one and minus three abilities are going to work very well together as uh, you're going to be making bigger creatures and then you're going to give them double strike and flying so they're going to deal double the damage and it's going to be great. His negative eight ability is going to be great, I believe, uh, in combination with, with Angel's Mercy, which is on the right, which will give you seven more cat tokens. So uh, be looking forward to that in the future. Uh, so let's go on down to Captain of the Watch. Uh, we're seeing lots of uh, theme-based decks. Uh, this one's going to help you with the soldiers as a uh, sort of Lord of the Unreal, except uh, for soldiers, like I said before. Um, it's going to give you uh, your soldiers that you control 1-1 one, one in Vigilance, and uh, you're also going to be putting out three 1-1 one, one white soldier tokens when you summon him. So he's going to be very good in the coming future uh, with those theme decks. Um, I believe Face Rewards is going to give you uh, lots of those cards back that you really need. Uh, it's going to help you with uh, lots of people uh, targeting those big creatures uh, that buff people up. Uh, so uh, now we're going to go down to Odric Master Tactician. He's a uh, Another soldier, he's going to uh, allow uh, your tokens to get through without being blocked, and it's going to allow you to deal lots of damage uh, with really uh, not too many casualties. Uh, so I think this is going to be a really good card in uh, M13. Uh, so now let's go on to the life cards. Uh, Sarah Avatar is going to be uh, having the power and toughness equal to your life, uh, and it's going to be shuffled into a graveyard. So basic, uh, I mean, into your library. So basically, uh, you're going to be able to acquire it a lot, uh, as well as the fact that you can beef him up a lot with cards like uh, Ronk's Faith Mender, which will give. Uh, life link and double the life gained, as well as uh, cards like Angel's Mercy, which is going to give it a big buff up. Uh, lots of angels coming in. Uh, I see Sarah Avenger is going to be uh, good. It's going to be a flying vigilance on uh, turn four, uh, and he's three three as well. Sublime Archangel is going to give Exalted uh, to your creatures. And uh, that's just going to pile up on the, uh, on the stack, and uh, it's going to be really good. Uh, and I'm, gonna, I'm seeing a lot of exalted creatures in the new set. I think that's going to be one of the main themes. Um, Touch of the Eternal is going to be good with lots of uh, tokens, as you're going to be piling those tokens on, uh, and it's going to really help you uh, keep that life up especially with those life cards. Um, so let's go into the blues. Alright, so um, first thing I noticed is Clone. Now Clone's going to be uh, coming in as M13's Phantasmal Image, uh, and that's coming back from an old set. Uh, and uh, like I said before, uh, another one of the theme decks coming uh, into uh, M13 is Merfolk decks. Uh, you're going to be getting Merfolks with 1-1s one in Island Walk. Uh, that's going to help you a lot. And uh, 
as well as drakes are gonna be uh, used I think a lot more in the future uh, with the installment of Talaran Sky Summoner uh, which in combination with Talaran's invocation is gonna give you three blue drake tokens uh, so be looking forward to that uh, in combination with maybe uh, Master of the Pearl Trident, you could have a uh, Merfolk Drake deck, uh, which would come in handy. Um, Spell Twine, uh, this nice card right here, I think is going to be very interesting uh, the way people use it, and I think that uh, it's going to come in very handy in the future. So, uh, on to the Jace cards and these Mill cards, I see. Uh, I see a really uh, big shift here with Jace's Phantasm. I think that um, that Blue's moving towards dealing lots of damage uh, instead of those uh, those mill decks and lots of stuff like that. Uh, I'm seeing that uh, Jace is going to be used to uh, activate his ability and in a backup just uh, mill as usual, uh, but. Mind Sculpt in combination with fa with the Phantasm is going to be very destructive. Um, so be looking at that. Uh, as well as Kraken Hashling is going to be uh, used widely throughout the game uh, as sort of a blocker to extend the game and get those big cards out like Omni Science so you can just play tons of cards. Um, Stormtide Leviathan uh, I think is good except uh, creatures without flying or island walk can attack so I'm seeing that more used with uh, with a merfolk deck um, I think that would probably work quite well because in combination with your master uh, it's gonna have island walk already uh, void stalker is going to be very good uh, in dealing with those pesky uh, Pesky uh, enchantments and uh, creatures that ex exile uh, other creatures. So you're going to see a lot of that in the coming uh, with the uh, removal of those creatures to bring back yours uh, and so forth. So I think this is going to be a very valuable card uh, coming into uh, M13. Um, so this is it for part one, um, so I'll be uh, setting this out as well as part two in the coming future, so please look forward to that. Uh, anyways, I'm out.